Hello! On this video, I want to show you how to create a table with a auto increment column in it. So, right click, new table, and I'm going to create a couple of columns right here just for testing. So, name and data type is varchar50, and maybe address. I want a varchar50 as well. And then here comes the column that we're going to use as ID and we're going to have auto increment ID. And on the data type, I'm going to set this to int. And right here on the column property, where it says identity specification is identity. I'm going to set to yes. And then you have increment 1 and seed 1. So what happens is that from now on, we do not need to worry about the ID column. The ID column is going to be auto-populated for us. It's going to be auto-increment. Save it. I'm going to name it person test. Let's select this table. Or insert. Let's insert some values there. So insert into person test. Name and address. The values. Now if you notice there is no ID here because the ID is going to be auto inserted and auto incremented for us. So the name is going to be Joe and the address cool street Seattle Washington and then I'm gonna select everything from that table only so we know that this value got inserted so execute the query and sure enough I have one Joe who lives in cool Street, and ID is number one I did not insert the number one, but the number one is there. So let's run a different query now. Same name, but this time he's going to live in the hot streets and he's going to live in Los Angeles, California. So run the query, and now we do have another value. And let's have another Joe who's going to live on no streets, but this time he's going to live in New York, New York. So run the query again. And now I have three Joes. If you want to look for a specific Joe, it's going to be quite difficult. And the reason is because everybody's Joe and everybody lives on somehow different address. But if you have a ID column that it's always different, then you can use that to find someone. So I'm going to comment this for now. So I can select everybody from person test. And now I can say where ID equals two, for example. And if I do that, I only get one row instead of getting multiple rows. So the auto increment is very easy to implement, very very useful and very used in the industry. So thanks for watching this video. This is easy and you can do it.